All right, I've got it hooked up this little square wave generator, <clears throat> which is outputting a one kilohertz square wave. Let me come over here and take a better look. There we are. And you can see on here we have our measurements. Our peak to peak is 528 millivolts. Frequency is one kilohertz. And our rise or our uh, pulse time is a uh, 507 microseconds. So let's up our frequency. Take it up to uh, I'll take it up to 10 kilohertz. Almost there. Stay with me. All right, so there we are at 10 kilohertz. And you see, by pushing this arrow, I can adjust our time base. There you also see our frequency, 10 kilohertz. I can adjust our vertical like this. And I can press the trigger button and adjust our trigger as well. Now you can also look up here and you can see the probe is in 1x, which is wrong. That's why we're getting a bad reading there. So how do we adjust that? Oh. We just press this button here, 1x, 10x. That's more like it because I'm putting in 5.33 volts. So that's much more like it. There we have 10x. We have two volts peak to peak. There you go. Yeah, there's one volt peak to peak. There's two volts peak to peak. You can see we're in run mode. If I press the stop button, it stops. Press it again, it runs. 20 microseconds for our time base. We have DC coupling going on. We have the auto set and we have the rising edge. There's our trigger adjust. The bottom arrow is there. So let's take it up even higher. I'm going to pause this so you don't have to watch me climb. There we are at 100 kilohertz. And you can see it is measuring it right on. No problem at all. And if we want to save this waveform, all we have to do is press save. Boom. And it's now saved. We can also have buttons to adjust our trigger to 50%. We can swap between AC and DC. We can adjust from our rising edge trigger to falling edge trigger. Very nice. And then we have these F1 and F2 buttons that bring up our different types of measurements that we want to take a look at. They've just done a really nice job here. Let's take a look at this uh, as compared to a full-size scope. Okay, we're right where we left off at 100 kilohertz square wave. And if we take a look here, we're hooked to the same thing. And you can see we have 100 kilohertz square wave. Peak to feet peak here is reading 5.9 volts and uh, we are getting 5.3 volts so the voltage a little bit off but that's not too bad all right let's uh let's bring in something else to play with here here's a little Arduino based uh, function generator I whipped together on a prototype shield. Pretty simple. Come here to uh, pin 2. We should get a square wave. Why are we not getting a square wave? Probably because not on pin 2. There we go. Okay, so there we are, 4 kilohertz uh, square wave. Very nice. 
Now we come into here to our first level and we get our sawtooth pattern. In our second level we get more of a triangular wave pattern. And then our final level over here. I can get on it. We get somewhat. There's our triangle pattern. I need to come over here to get our somewhat <laughs> sine wave pattern. What wrong button? There was AC couple at. There we go. And there is our <laughs> our sine wave pattern. Where are you going? Come back. There we go. So there's our sine wave pattern. So looking good all the way around. This thing is really cool. You know what we got to do now? We got to have a look inside. This is a very nice soft silicone cover. And it's a good thing it has it because this is slicker than whale snot. Luckily, I say, I say luckily, I just happen to have a screwdriver that fits in the hole. You never know until you go, then you know. Am I right? Yeah, well, anyway, so you guys are probably looking for an update from my surgery. Well, guess what? It was a complete and total failure. They could not get to the, st the stones. So I am right where I was before, except now I have an extremely painful stint in me. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a zoom in here. Hopefully that focus is nice. What we've got here is an ARM processor. GD32F407. So what we got here is a Giga device. GD32F407. This is a high performance ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller at 168 megahertz. It supports hardware DSP instructions plus a floating point unit, zero wait state execution from flash, which is why it boots up so fast, 256 to uh, 3 megabytes of flash, SRAM 64K to 256 kilobytes, EXMC interface support SD RAM and RAM up to 8 UARTs, up to 3 SPI, up to 2 I squared C's, up to 2 CAN bus, and up to 2 I squared S. So that is our brain box. I'm going to guess, and I am only guessing because I can't quite tell what that is, but I'm going to guess that is the um, display driver. Let's see, can we focus on these guys? Maybe we can see what the heck they are. HC14, HCI148, TI82. Okay, so the HC148s are 8 line to 3 line primary decoders. Those look like optocouplers. What the heck is that guy? TP4. Four zero six six. Hmm. Is the brother of the TP four zero five six, which is a battery charging circuit. Pretty cool, yeah. What we got here. Oh, wind bond chip. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. All in all, you know, this is a. 
really nice design. There's our 5,000 milliamp hour LiPo. So this may seriously be like the coolest little oscilloscope I've ever laid my hands on. 100 megahertz, 500 mega samples per second. It's as accurate as the big scope. It's isolated because it's battery powered, so you can probe mains with this. And it, you know they're saying it's good up to uh, 800 volts. So I mean that might even be safe for you European type mains. I don't know what else to say, but that is this is super cool. You got a question? I know what it is. How much does it cost? Right now, it's about 70 bucks U.S. on Amazon or on uh, Banggood. 70 bucks. This is worlds above that $20. Uh, what is it? JSO 138 in the DSO shell. This is this is a serious oscilloscope. Those other ones are toys. Yeah. Wow. That's about all I can say about that. <laughs> we sound like Forrest Gump now. Bloop. Again, I want to thank Banggood for sending this out. Very cool. Man, I give it two thumbs up. I'm even pointing my toes up. Can't see it because they're under the desk. But trust me, I am. Uh, if you guys like this, feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to Banggood. That's it. I'm out. Peace.